Hey, what's up everyone? Evan and Daxon here today with Fishing Life 101, and today we're going to be going to a new place that we're pretty excited about. It's going to be on the same river system that we fish a lot of times, but it's a little bit further west, so it's going to be, it should be a lot bigger than where we've gone so far. So it'll take us a little bit to get there. It's about a half an hour drive from our house, and we're hoping that the rain holds out. It does look like it might start storming here for too long. The sky looks to be a little bit dark, but we're hopeful today that we can make it there before the rain happens, and there's just a little bit of rain. We can always just wait it out. And it won't be any big deal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Well guys, we tried to go back a road to get more access to the river and it turned out to not really be too good. Didn't work out the way we hoped to. Was, uh, I didn't want to go through a whole lot of mud. As you can see, we already went through a decent amount up there. All the mud and water. So we got to get out of here now. We might be able to go a little place by the boat ramp. But this was kind of just a way to explore stuff too and to see what all was out here. So at least now we know that we shouldn't really be going back there. Not that we were on property that we could not go on, but just that the roads are um, not quite the best. I don't really want to scratch my truck up a bunch or anything. So we're gonna go check out by the boat ramp now. We're gonna go see what all the fishing opportunities are here. We really need to get our boat ready soon so we could just take our boat down here and then we could have an opportunity to go really anywhere we want to. And then we wouldn't be limited to the fish lines, which makes it a little bit harder to fish whenever you're limited to certain spots. But here's the river. As you can see, the river's pretty good size here. It's not flowing real quick, so I'm sure it's fairly deep here. There's a bridge right there. We're going to look to see where we can actually get down to fish here so we can actually get some fishing in today. This looks like it might be a pretty good place. I might have down on me. Oh, you can do that. Something on here. Hold on. Ah! Doggone it. They had a fish on there. That would have been fish number one. Felt like something decent. Not huge, but it was decent. On here. Whoa. Oh man. Uh, nope, it's still on there. That feels like a decent fish. Daddy, I will... Ah, it came out again. Oh, well, that's not what you want to see, guys. It's hooked back into itself. That's probably why it came out. Not what you want to see. That's two good bites. Go ahead and hook this piece of shad back in and throw it back out. But at least we know where there's fish here, even though we've just had bites. The spinning rod's got a hit. It's got a good hit on it. Oh, yeah. I got it on you, man. Ah, man. So we've had two bites so far, and now I'm thinking that we might be getting into our bunch of gar or because... We've had two nice fish and we haven't been able to reel either one of them in. We reeled them for a while, but they've all gotten off before we could land them. At least the good thing here in this new spot, at least we know that there's fish here. Now we've gotten fish all down here towards this bridge. And then we've had bites kind of all through here. I think one of the, I think we've had four bites so far. 
I think one of them was a turtle though, but the other three were fish. The other two or three were fish. Hey, yeah, hurry. Oh, that might be a good one. Hurry up, Daxon. Yeah, that's a good fish. I don't know. Hurry up and get the net though. Bowfin. Hurry up. We want to get him in. He's not hooked a whole lot. Good job. Well, guys, that's our first fish here. Our first one that we've actually landed. Here, actually, let me hold that. I'll get it out since it's under the rods. Oh, what fish got you in? Yep. That looks like a pretty sizable bowfin. I bet he's every bit of four pounds. These are supposed to be the most common fish around here. I might not. Oh, nope. I got it out. It didn't hook him very good, Daxton. Oh. That's the problem with these bowfin guys. They're, like I've said in other videos, they're hard to hook. And we've had a lot of them where they're just barely hooked. But I think that's the first, I think that's the first fish on that rod. Is it Daxton or did we get one? That might be the first fish on that rod. Yeah. We'll just throw him back. I'd say he's probably a good four pounds. Not near the biggest that we've caught, but he's a good size. Man, you got me wet there. There he is, guys. Definitely caught bigger, but this is a solid size for this area. We'll let him go. There he goes. Pretty calm release for both in, honestly. Oh, man, Whoa. Well. He just ah. went up to the surface again. I guess he had to gulp a breath of air, maybe. We had a big fish on the line. It pulled the rod holder down, and then it ran right into a snag. So we're just snagged up right now. All I'm trying to do is pull it out. I've tried to pull other times, and I can't. Yep, yeah, I think I just broke everything. You know, I don't know if I broke everything off or not. Must say monofilament is a lot harder than braid to pull out. Or it's a lot um a lot harder to break, I should say. Braid's just so nice and easy to break off because there's very little slack in it. Yep, I lost everything. Oh, I have the you can see the swivel hold on and that's it. So we'll have to rebate and try again. Nice catfish or something. Is it gold? Oh, Axton. you take this. Take the rod, reel them, reel down on. Both them. Things. Yep. Cause reel I throw them out. You, you're, whoa. You okay? Here, stand back up. I'll reel them in a little bit. Yep. That's a big one too. Hold on to him. Good job. Good. Oh. Yeah, guys. Yep, and he's taking some drag now. That's a real good one. That's not a. I don't think Daxon can really hold on to him. Reel him in. Keep reeling. Oh, he jumped right out of the net. <laughs> Reel him. Man. Oh. Pull him back in, Daxton. Yep, these guys see the net and they run. Okay, wow. That's uh, quite a bit bigger than the last one. And it has a mouth. Blue mouth. Yeah, he's got a little blue on him still. Let's see where this hook is. Yep, he's just hooked right inside of the mouth. Two bowfin that you landed. Yep. Yeah. Seven point seven eight. Right at six and a half pounds. So six and a half pound bowfin, guys. We'll throw him back. There you have it, guys. That's a nice long bowfin too. Dang, I bet he's twenty-seven inches long. Maybe twenty-eight. He's a long one. Seems like most of these bowfin, when they start getting big, they just get real fat. But he's a long one. Another one on here. 
suit. I think it, it let go. Ah, popped out again. A small blue bit like something big? Yeah. Say it's another bowfin, how it's popping out of the water. Yeah. Hey, don't reel it in. Well, go hurry up, because I'm going to reel them in as quick as I can. Man, that's another nice bowfin. You see them, guys, they jump out of the water kind of like they're bass. Daddy. Yep, he's pulling hard. Whoa, he's got his mouth all torn up. That's weird. I've never seen that. Daddy. Well, there you have it guys that is, a, that is another solid bow fin that hook came right out of him because he almost got away i knew you don't want him to go away let's we'll see how big he is pretty good sized bow fin but my guess is he's around four pounds or so probably about what that other one was this morning. Yep, four and a half pounds. That's solid bowfin. These bowfin are super tough to hold on to. Might need to get fish grips or something like that. So they can hold on to them better. You'll look at his mouth right there. It's messed up. I don't know what that's all about. That's weird looking. Maybe See a, that? Maybe a bigger catfish, Daddy. Got to him or what? Yeah, I don't got know. to him. Yeah, that's a solid fish. I mean, he's long. Okay, you want to come over here, Daxter, and put him back with me? Yeah. Let's just let him back in real easily, okay? Fish time. There he goes. Fish time. Bowfin number three today. Well, we've gotten three pretty nice bowfin in today, and I don't know how many we've had on the hook. It seems like with both, and if you hook half of them, you're, or if you actually land half of them, you're doing good, which I know we haven't landed half of them today. But they're definitely here. There's, it seems like most of them, most of the bites and the fish that we've caught have been right up here, upstream towards this bridge up here. That's been pretty good for us. What we've been using for these uh these bowfin is just cutting pieces of the shad off. Bowfin don't need a big chunk of shad. They're they're fine with just using something like this, just a bite-sized chunk that you can put on the hook. So we're putting on them, we have a monster shad in there that we're cutting the pieces off of. That's still from the shad that we caught uh, about, probably about a week or so ago at the Huntingbird Lake. Jackson has some minnows in here somewhere, I believe. He's caught a few of them. Maybe you guys can see that there's some minnows swimming right around pretty close to the shore here. We, We've seen minnows all over the place here. So whenever we see little bait fish like that, that's a good sign there's going to be other fish here too. I have one too. out. There it is. Just kind of flopping up and down. They flop everywhere. With how many bowfin we catch out of this river, we might as well just call ourselves. We might as well just change our name to Bowfin Fishing 101. It seems like that's almost all we catch out of here. Although yesterday we did catch a nice catfish, a nice channel cat. Daxon's catching all those minnows. It's just a little nut. He's just going up and down shore and raking them in. I think the next time we come back to this place, though, we're going to wait until it's evening time. So it's not so... We're in direct sunlight right now. There was an overcast quite a bit of the day, which made it a lot nicer. But just standing in direct sun all day is just crazy. As you can see now, we're actually getting a little bit of shade here in places. But really where we're sitting, which is right here, there's nothing to protect us from the sun. So the fishing kind of cooled off today, so we decided to pack it up and go home. We had a great time today though, and this is definitely a spot that we're going to come back to. We've got a lot of good bites here, especially whenever we have our boat here. and have a boat ramp right there we can go into. That'll allow us to hit a lot more places on this river, so there is a lot of potential here. But overall, it was a great day. If you guys liked this video, be sure to leave us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing, and we'll see you next time.